In this video, we're going to look at a strategy called removal. And again, this will involve the strategy of partitioning. And it will really be the idea of partitioning the smaller number and removing it from the bigger number. Do again, keep reminding your child that it is important in subtraction that the biggest number must always go first. Again, I will be writing on the board, but what you want to be doing is encouraging your child to go through these steps mentally. Of course, do start with a written method and then progress into using it as a mental strategy. So let's look at the calculation. For this one, we can use slightly bigger numbers. We can use the two two-digit numbers. So we're going to subtract two two-digit numbers in this case. We're going to leave the biggest number as is and we're going to remove the smaller number. We're going to take it away. So our first step in this one is that we're going to partition that smaller number again. And by this stage, your child should be quite comfortable with that partitioning or that segmenting of the numbers into whatever place value you're working with. In this case, we're just working with tens and units. So we're going to partition into tens. So it's our two tens, which is 20 and two units. And this is where we're going to talk about removal. We're going to start with our biggest number. And we're going to first of all remove our tens number. Here we can use our known facts. 7 take away 2 is 5. So we know that that is 50. And our, of course our units stay the same because we have got no units to take away. Now we're on 53. We've removed our 20, our two tens. So now we need to remove our units. So we're going to get our next what we've got left over, which is our 53, and we're going to take away our two to get 51. So let's do that again, another calculation, just so that we can work through those steps. This time we've got 96 and we've got 49. We're going to leave the biggest number as is. We're going to partition the smaller number into tens and units. So we've got 40, four tens and nine units. We're going to use that bigger number and we're going to take away our tens number. We're going to remove it. We already know that nine take away four is five. Again, recalling our known facts and we haven't got any units to take away. So we've got 56. And then we're going to take our nine away from our 56. So now we will take away the 56, take away nine. And if you recall, we talked about taking away those chunks. That's what we're going to do here. And we're going to think away by taking away that chunk of six to get us to 50, and then taking away our three to get us to 47. In the next video, I will go through the steps again, and we'll look at slightly larger numbers and how we can use it for hundreds, tens, and units, as well as our two digit numbers.